now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, we've had a weather winning streak and it continues today with the dry skies. We have seen some clouds streaming overhead and they're filtering out the sunshine a bit, but we're still looking good on live pinpoint Doppler 12. And in fact, we're entering into the time frame known as the dog days of summer, roughly from mid July through mid August, uh, noted for its uh, sultry air when the dog stars Sirius line up with the sun. Well, it's going to certainly be feeling like the dog days here over the next five to seven days is the combination of both high temperatures, warmer than average, as well as high humidity will make for some uh, pretty uncomfortable summer air. But the radar, again, not finding any rain or thunder out there, not expecting any. Kind of a milky sun right now in Providence with a temperature of 82 degrees. Dew points running at 63, and the winds are light and variable. Humidity is actually not bad at about 53%. We're in the low 80s in Taunton, 83 in New Bedford, about 83 degrees in Westerly, and your temperatures in Smithfield in Newport running at about 79. Here's that satellite and radar, and it's this narrow strip of clouds. It's been dimming out the sunshine as it slowly works its way towards the north and east, and more high clouds streaming in from the south and west. So we'll call for a partly to mostly sunny sky this afternoon. The uh, source for all the heat and humidity in the coming days will be this area of high pressure. We call it the Bermuda High as it anchors itself in the western Atlantic this time of year. It'll bring up that tropical air, hazy, hot, and humid conditions for us. And while the humidity still okay today and tomorrow. It'll be pretty stifling by Sunday and then through much of next week. This afternoon, temperatures under those partly sunny skies climbing up into the upper 80s between 1 and 3 o'clock and should still be around 86 at 5 this evening. Along the south coast, winds off the water should keep the temperatures in the lower 80s for highs and westerly. Hope Valley closer to 87, near 90 in Coventry. And as we break into some sunshine, I think our inland areas have a shot at the upper 80s to a few spots near 90. 90 degrees with that filtered sun, warm and dry conditions. And southeastern Massachusetts under partly sunny skies, warm, a little bit muggy, upper 80s for highs, New Bedford and Fall River, low to mid 80s, Middletown and in Little Compton. Partly sunny at the beaches for today, temperatures around 83, the water temp up another degree or two to 76 degrees. It's good boating weather, winds are still fairly light, winds should turn to the uh, south at about 5 to 15 knots. High tide, 4.30 in the afternoon. We have a low tide coming up just before 11 o'clock tonight. And speaking of tonight, if you're out and about on the town, it's looking good. It's just mild. Probably won't even need any sweaters or jackets with temperatures in the upper 70s at 8 o'clock down to about 71 by midnight. For the weekend future cast near 90 Saturday, 88 still forecasting maybe an isolated or scattered thunderstorm for a Sunday afternoon and evening. If you do get one, you can expect a good downpour with it, but they'll be scattered about so not everyone catches one and it'll still be more comfortable at the beaches compared to our inland areas where we're going to see a stretch upper 80s to low 90s all the way into the middle and late part of next week and those late night lows will be in the low 70s. Don't forget to take the live pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast all of your breaking news and video with you. Go to WPRI.com and download our app for the iPhone or Android smartphone. All right. Thank you, Michelle.